Yeah, man, you already know it's the kid, Pop Lord himself. If you don't believe in them, believe in the Lord, man. Press and play all 2021 forever, you did. This show right here, you know what? You tuned in. You know, this shit like my dirty club, man. Dirty on a daily, you hear me? So what you think about how music is moving in Atlanta right now? Like, I was just talking to my brother, like how the internet really kind of like, well, not necessarily even just in Atlanta, the culture period. Like, where you think music is at right now? Shit, music right now, shit, all over the place right now. COVID got it fucked up. No shows. You know what I'm saying? So it's basically just a digital game right now. So shit, yeah. all you gotta do is drop and get your numbers up. And add the money up. That's about it. Ain't no more street work. Niggas ain't even paying the DJs no more. Kinda hard for them. I hate it, but it's true. You feel like DJs still have a valid position in the music business? Nope. I ain't gonna say they. Yeah, yeah, they do. Cause at the end of the day, it, it, it's, it's, it's gatekeepers in this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, I, don't, I ain't telling you to go pay every DJ. Every DJ is not even really reliable on breaking records. So you, you got to go get you the main, say the main seven to ten DJs in the city. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to name them, but I know who they is. So that's what I fuck with. What do you think the artists got to do that's outside of Atlanta? You know what I mean? Because everybody feel like Atlanta's the epicenter. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, what I've been hearing, a lot of people are moving here. Of course, like, because... You know, they want to get their business or music career or whatever career they want to get off the ground. They feel like it can pop off in Atlanta because it's just like a black excellence culture in Atlanta. What do you feel like people should do when they do move to Atlanta? Shit. When you move to Atlanta, you got to have all your ducks in order. And you got to come with a bag, though. This shit ain't free. You know what I'm saying? You can get paid off lingo. You know, like, just being around, you feel me? This shit not free. You know, you got to pay for that shit. So it's like... If you're gonna come down here, you, you think you finna just try to steal the swag or pick up on some shit for free? No, nah, that's a negative. That's a need. Mm -mm. You gotta pay for this shit, though. Nigga, give you the game, but you gonna pay for it. For sure. Yeah, man, ain't none of this shit free. I'm like, by that being said, like, just get back to the question, man. Like, just have all your ducks in order, have a bag with you, and then, you know, have your team on point to where you can capture every moment and. And go up every time, shit. Let the PR go ahead and take over and do what it do. Stay consistent. Yeah. Make sure you hold on to the relationship that you build, though. You know what I'm saying? That's, you're going to definitely need them to come back around. Just in case you got to do it again. Just in case the first one don't work, you want to keep them relationships. You want to keep making money with niggas. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's my point. So, so you recently took down all your pictures off Instagram. That's like a trend now. Artists sometimes take down all their pictures off Instagram. What's the concept behind that? Shit, I can't tell you why everybody do it. Right, shit, but basically, it's, just, it's a restart. We got to reset. Like, it's a lot of memories. We, we, if we was to just put all this shit up every day and not take nothing down, shit, you will never be able to see the beginning to the end anyway. So it's like... You restarting at a point, rebranding. Most likely you finna drop, bring out something new. You know what I'm saying? You got some new apparel on the way or however it is, like new ventures that you just wanna just break the internet and just go up with. But nine times out of ten, it just be a self a self thing, just a reset. How you feel about beef in the culture right now? Like I feel like with a lot of people not being able to do shows, a lot of people are chasing clout by beefing with one another for no reason. Yeah, man, half of these niggas be in on it together, so <laughs> you don't never know what's real and what's fake. Until some shit like, well, I know what's real and what's fake, cause you know, shit start dropping around them motherfuckers, you know what's real. But to the end, it's like, a lot of people don't get they still hurt just chasing clout, though. I ain't gonna lie. Can't just chase clout and think this shit ain't gonna come back. There's always gonna be a new troll, though. They're gonna come in and just think they're doing it better than another person. Uh, sometimes they just like, niggas just wanna take your spot. You, you have the top spot, they gonna try to take you out. They wanna knock you off your pivot. They wanna see what they can do to frustrate you so your sales can go down and they shit go up. 
This shit really just a uh, chess game, man. You just gotta know what the fuck going on out here. And you gotta have a strong team around you to really let you know, like, give you insight, not just no dumb ass nigga like, oh, that nigga tried, bro. You got to say something, you got to respond. You did it half the time, the nigga that's responding and saying shit about you don't even got nothing going on. As soon as you respond, that's when they got everything going on. So I just feel like niggas just need to ignore all that country shit and just stay silent and stay true to themselves. Whatever working for you, just keep doing that shit. So you've recently been in the studio with Future a lot. How's that been? Like, what's 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 the vibe in the studio? Like, without being able to perform songs, without being able to get out here and, and push your music, how's studio vibes for you right now? Oh, shit, we all the vibes. Shit, we bring vibes to the studio. Like, it's just like we create the juice. We know what's hot. We say what's goddamn hot. What's not? You know what I'm saying? We create the lingo for the next three years to be set in stone, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, man, just linking up on some brotherly love shit, like, you know, that's my bro. I always been, like, my first song was with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was coming up together at that time. But he just, like I said, he had all these ducks in order, and I didn't, you know what I'm saying? He had the business part really down pat as far as being, having a team and having numbers and creating the brand and making that shit stamp and, and, and moving forward, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, everybody learn from each other. You gotta learn from another person's mistakes. Also, your own, though. So what's next for Pop Lord? I mean, you you have, you have recently just put out a new single, uh, Flip the Script. Yeah. What, was the, what, was the, what was the momentum like behind that record? What, what, what caused you to put that record out? Shit, I ain't dropped nothing in a minute. And then, you know, I, like I said, I'm doing rebranding. Uh, new label, Press Play, you know what I'm saying? Um, the whole pin play movement, the paid off lingo movement, it's just showing these folks like, at that time, trying to wake them up. Like, shit, I'm just gonna drop content all year. Like, just go up, have them fiending for the album. Like, like, when is he ever gonna drop a real project? I wanna have them confused. So when I drop it, it's that shit. It's just like, hey man, I done created something new. This shit don't sound like men. It's out right now. Here goes something new for y'all to eat up, you feel me? Off camera, we talked about um, you creating like new genres. Cause like when they listen to your music, your music isn't just okay. one track minded. Like you have, you have multifaceted lanes of music that you've been in as far as just records in general. So like talk about, talk about that lane as far as just writing records for people and like what's what's those vibes like? Shit, man, those vibes are hundred percent to the top. Uh, and, you know we doing we do, we taking hood shit top forty. That's what we doing. Basically, what we gonna call this genre of music is ratchet pop. You know what I'm saying? Ratchet pop. For those who don't know, man, pop P O P it stands for priority over popularity. So no matter who's popular, I'm always gonna be priority. You're always gonna need me. You're always gonna want drip. So tell us about Press Play. Press Play, what is Press Play? That's the label, I know that for, but how did that, how did that originate? Shit, I really came up with that shit, Press Play, I really came up with that shit just watching the Black Godfather. Just his documentary and a couple things he said just stuck with me, like a couple things, a lot of people say it stick with me, so it's just like I use that in my everyday life from that point on. So it's like, uh, I think his record label was uh, su success, six, success. You know what I'm saying? Like success and six together. You know what I'm saying? So and, and this got something to do with everyday life. Everybody wants to see, and you know, six also rules the world when it comes down to it. Uh, six sales. If it, that's what I meant to say. But this um, everyday life. No matter what you do in life, like shit. Before you hear a song, you got to press play. You know what I'm saying? You got that. You got to press some type of button to activate some for it to play. You know what I'm saying? So you got to press play, no matter what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my boy Flip, man. This nigga really walking out the room. 
Damn, that's that's awesome. 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 Man, this is a flip. Man, this pop is flip. Man, come on. Man, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, man. I gotta be on my Kanye shit. These niggas, man. Check out my Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.